watching, my name is Alicia. If you're not familiar with me, I'm a personal trainer, a mom of two teenage boys. I'm a military spouse and a coach for faster weight of fat loss. My passion is for men and women to look and feel their best so we can give back to our families, our communities, our churches, and our friends. So I did want to tell you a lot of clients in faster weight of fat loss, they always ask me, how do you get protein in? I need to eat more protein. What are some good ideas for protein? So I have a few things here that I want to share with you. Um, just things that I have in my pantry, freezer, and my refrigerator of good ideas to get, eat, to get protein in. Um, so I wanted to start with a few things. And you definitely just have to read labels. Um, so nuts are great. These are a little bit of cocoa roasted almonds. Um, they do have fat in them though. They are as well as almond butter, um, peanut butter, great sources of protein. There's also black beans, chickpeas. So those have protein as well. Also steel cut oats, if you didn't know, have some protein. Um, this oatmeal right here, I purchased at Costco recently. And it actually has six grams of protein per serving and also five grams of fiber. So that's a great option. Um, a few things also that I eat that have protein in them are hemp hearts have also fats as well, but these are great to put on salads, uh, to put in smoothies. They're just, you can kind of sprinkle those on. And chia seeds as well, you can put in like dairy-free yogurt, put in smoothies, sprinkle on oatmeal, um, anything like that. And they actually add nine grams of fat per serving and they have five grams of protein per serving. So these also have 13 grams of carbs, but that's 10 grams of fiber. So those will add um, good fibers to your diet. Hummus is a good option. Um, you can eat with um, vegetables, or actually my husband and I like to put hummus on hamburgers, grilled hamburgers, um, just kind of as a sauce or a spread. So that's a good option. Um, salami I have right here is a good option. Um, fats and protein and so then a lot of um, eggs, eggs are always good. We keep lots of eggs around at our house. Um, so then I also have, if you're on the go, um, I'm not a huge fan of the bars because they're just processed a little bit, but these one bars, they're actually really tasty and they have 20 grams of protein and only one gram of sugar because they do have the sugar alcohol. So they do have your erythritol. So if that doesn't agree with you, I wouldn't um, suggest eating these. However, 20 grams of protein, 22 grams of carbs with nine grams of fiber and seven grams of fat. So those are a few of the ideas. Um, if you're getting just trying of I, regular food ideas that do have some protein in it. However, then I get the question from my clients is, I've had enough fats, I've had enough carbohydrates, what can I eat to just bump up my protein macros? Because in the faster way to fat loss, we eat the balanced amount of carbohydrates, protein, and fats um, for the benefit of our body, just to make sure we're eating enough of that balance. So that then what I say to them usually is, beef jerky is a good option. Um, still with beef jerky, you have to check your labels. Some have more sugar than others. If it's sweet, it's gonna have more sugar. Um, this one right here I get from Costco, nine grams of protein, five grams of carbs, and a half a gram of fat. So that would be a definite, a good option to bump up that protein. Um, also, any kind of like the sausages. These are chicken sausages. These are purchased at Costco. The label's upside down. But in one link, there's 13 grams of protein. Um, and just four and a half grams of fat, so not too bad. And four grams of carbs. So these are definitely higher in the protein area. Um, a few slices of prosciutto are always good to eat. Um, these are like a crunchy chickpea. Um, they're Bombay spice, so kind of with Indian spices. But these have six grams of protein, five grams of fiber, 18 grams of carbs, four grams of fat. So actually they wouldn't be great for just protein, but again, a little bit higher protein of option to get that protein in. Um, tuna is another great one and salmon has fat obviously, but salmon has a lot of protein as well. Um, those are two things I do not have in my house as I'm allergic. <laughs> so, um, and they don't agree well with me. These are sardines. I'm 
I'm learning to eat sardines because they are high in protein. Since I can't have tuna anymore or salmon, I've kind of resorted to a little bit of sardines. Okay, pure protein scallops. I love my scallops. I sear them in the pan. You can easily wrap bacon around them if you'd like, mix them with some vegetables, put them on the grill with bacon around them. But scallops are a great way to get protein in if you like scallops. There's 19 grams of protein in a serving and one gram of fat and only three grams of carbs. So definitely high in protein. These are a must if you're looking to bump up your protein. Shrimp as well. I have some frozen shrimp right here that's already cooked. I just have to thaw and run some water over it and thaw. Those are great as well. Add to a stir fry, um, anything like that. Had some baked shrimp, add a little bit of garlic, um, lemon. There's so many different ways you can have shrimp. Um, my oldest, his favorite is shrimp curry, so we sometimes will make shrimp curry as well. Um, the last three items I want to share with you are egg whites, simple egg whites in a box. Um, you can just buy eggs, throw away the yolk, however, conveniently you can buy whites right here in a box. Um, so they're just the whites and there's five grams of protein in one serving, zero carbs, zero fat. So. Another thing I like to do too is hard boil eggs. So if you hard boil eggs, you can easily, you know, get rid of the yolk if you want, um, but you can easily just eat egg whites, the hard boil option. Those are great to take with you. If you have a cooler, just throw in an ice pack and those are easy to eat on the go. Um, the last two, um, vital proteins, collagen peptide. This is one of my favorite ways to get protein mainly because this is collagen. It's great for your hair, your skin, and your nails. And this is unflavored. So it's a powder, but it's unflavored. So one scoop, okay, two scoops have 18 grams of protein. So this is actually a great way. It dissolves really well in warm things. So I can even put a little scoop of this in my coffee in the morning, it will not break my fast. Um, I have put scoops of it in quinoa, in oatmeal, up smoothies. You can easily add it to anything because there's no flavor to it. I don't really recommend just drinking it with water because it does have a little bit of like the gelatin, collagen kind of, um, you know, stiffening up, I guess, like that in your, you don't, you don't want to drink jello. But, um, but anyway, this is great, especially in hot things because it does dissolve and there's no flavor, like I said, so that's an easy way to get protein in. So having some of this on hand is great. You can get it at Costco. I know you can buy it online. Um, oh yeah, Costco online. Um, and I know when we lived in Japan, our mini mart had it. So if you're on near a base, they might have it at like the express or the mini mart. Um, not too sure, but anyway, Costco has a big jug of it as well. And this one I wanted to share with you was just protein powders. Protein powder is a good way to get uh, protein also, but you do have to watch your labels of protein powder. I love, this is made by Mom Sanity brand, just a small business. Um, and they are two moms that have come up with this company and they have an online business and they sell BCAAs, branched chain amino acids as well, and protein powder. The reason I like their protein powder is because there's nothing artificial in it. A lot of the protein powders that you'll buy on the store, on the shelf, at GNC, wherever you wanna go and get your local supplements, you do have to watch your labels. A lot of them have sugar, a lot of them have aspartame, a lot of them have artificial colorings even. So definitely be label savvy and check your labels and make sure you are eating and ingesting things that aren't gonna harm you later on. So this right here is chocolate. They do have a vanilla flavor, but in one scoop of this protein powder, it has three grams of fat and 20 grams of protein. So uh, only one gram of sugar. So it's, made, it's got some cocoa powder in it, a little bit of stevia, um, pea protein isolate. And so there's many different uh, protein powders you can buy. You can get some that are made with soy. You can get some that are whey protein, which whey is actually dairy. So um, if you're staying away from dairy, which we recommend in Fast Way to Fat Loss, then um, that wouldn't be a good option. But there's a lot of plant-based protein powders out there. So anyway, I hope this was helpful. Um, I've had a lot of questions, especially recently, just about protein. How can I get my protein in? What are great ways to get protein in? So hopefully this gives you um, a little bit better of an idea. If you have questions, please let me know. 
But um, I also wanted to let you know I did start my round, re 